The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to find cases in Westlaw Next. Let's first take a look at how to find cases using the search bar at the top of the screen. You can use the search bar to find cases in three ways, by name, citation, and keywords. No matter which method you choose to do, it's always good practice to limit the jurisdiction you are searching using the jurisdictional box located on the right side of the search bar. Let's first try to find a case by citation. The case citation for Miranda v. Arizona is 384 US 436. Once you've entered that in, all you need to do is click search on the right side of the search bar. Now let's try to find a case by name. To do so, simply enter the party names into the search bar. Let's try Miranda v. Arizona. In this instance, Miranda v. Arizona appeared at the top of the list. You can see though that this search pulled back almost over 60,000 results. We could limit these results by clicking on cases under view, which would restrict the results to cases only. From there we could restrict the results by several criteria, including jurisdiction and date. Finally, you can find a case by keywords. To do so, you would enter your search terms into the search bar, click search, and your results would appear. Again, you could limit by cases under view. Let's now look at how to find cases using the browse box. To find cases using the all content tab, you would first click on cases. Now if you perform a search using the search bar, you will be searching only cases. At this point, the jurisdictional box would still also be in use. You can also narrow your search down even further by selecting cases by a specific jurisdiction, court, or topic. You will notice that each time you click on a database, the search bar will change to search only in that set of materials. The Federal Materials tab as well as the State Materials tab work in much of the same way as the All Content tab. The benefit of using them is that you can narrow your search by jurisdiction more efficiently. The last tab we will look at is the Topics tab. Once you select a topic, in this instance we'll select Tax, you can see that tax cases are at the top of the list. This is a combined database of all the reporters that would include tax cases. If you wanted to limit tax cases to a specific court, you would use the jurisdictional box located next to the search bar. Now that we know how to find a case, let's explore what a case looks like in Westlaw Next. When you access a case in Westlaw Next, it should look fairly similar to one that you would access in a printed reporter. The caption is located at the top of the case and includes information on the case citation, party names, docket number, and date it was decided. For some cases, you also find a link at the top of the screen to the original image of the case as it appeared in print. Below the caption, you will find the synopsis or summary of the case, which will give you the procedural history, limited facts, and the court's holding. Next, you will find the headnotes. We will not discuss them in depth right now, but you should know that they summarize points of law within the case. The number of headnotes will vary based on the length of the case and the number of legal issues. You can jump down to the portion of the case that discusses a particular issue by clicking on the headnote number. Following the headnotes, you will find the syllabus, which is not a part of the opinion. The syllabus provides a quick reference to the facts of the case and the holding. After the syllabus, you will find information about the attorneys in the case. Next, you will find the beginning of the opinion. At the beginning of the opinion, you will find which justice or justices authored the opinion. Throughout the opinion, you will notice green numbers with stars. This is the pagination for the case. If you see a number with one star, it corresponds to the official reporter, which in this case is the United States Reports. If you see a number with two stars, it corresponds to the unofficial West reporter, in this case the Supreme Court reporter. The page numbers apply to the text that appears after the number. You should also see that cases, statutes, and other legal materials that appear in the opinion are hyperlinked. This way you can access them instantly. In some cases, you may find that a case is so long that it is on multiple pages. The last two parts of the case to point out are the parallel citations, 
which are located at the end of the case, and the footnotes. That is it for accessing cases in Westlaw Next.